Welcome to From Zero to Hero. I'm your host, TopDart2002, and today we're doing Vans and Utility. So, that is. That's not right. There we go. So, unlimited budget, and we'll have to try and. Oh, no, that's the sound of break. So we've unlimited budget and don't know what I'm gonna go for. A couple of different options. Could go for something that's like just a transit, could go for a Ute. Not sure exactly what I wanna go for. Though I was I'm tempted by that. Well, I've tried those before. They're tricky to drive. But I'm liking the idea of that uh, holding. What about Ford, though? I'm going to go against, get, I'm gonna go against what I normally say. I'm going to go for the holding yet. I normally go for the Ford Ute, but no, I'm going to go for this one. So, I'm going to collect this car, take it over the track, see how it does. So, we've got the Malu Ute down on the track. Time to see how it does. So, I'd feel okay, a little slidey in places, but nothing too bad. Hopefully the tuning will fix any issues. Nice little bit. That wasn't too bad through there. Uh, there was really no need to brake, so I just left, left it off. A little bit wide, but who knows. That was pretty neat through the hairpin too, so we then head on down the hill. Uh, oh god. Woohoo, fly! It's not good. Right, so down here, break, break, break. Earl's bent the wall on the other side. And the wall on that side, though. Uh, there we go. A little bit of a drift going on. Break for the hairpin. Ugh. Ah, shh. Breaking for the hairpin. Feather the throttle, because it will bite if you don't. Lift off. Right. Little bit of drift. Uh, 
a night down in California. Hopefully it's pretty decent down here. Ah, it's not too slow. Nice little look down the, under the bit of the bridge. Break the quantum. Um, two fifty is not actually that bad of a time. I've seen worse. The left, dab of the bricks. Little bit of a sideways action. Always fun, but not when you're trying to go for uh, the best time possible. Car likes to slide about. Run a bit wide. See, this car sort of has a weird mix of understeer and oversteer in certain corners, and it's that's not what you want. Perfectly fine with another little slide on exit, which is not helping its time whatsoever. Go through that can break. And now it's just flat out down towards the finish line. Something just happened. Dunno. Sorry, that lap was not quicker. 250.004. Okay. Puts a sort of average for a slow car. <laughs> um, how the order below? Oh, see what he can do. So, we are back with the Ute. Of course. It's painted. It's a very stable car, surprisingly. Um, I've had a, a couple of slides here and there on it, but that's more because I've like, hit a curb or hit something on the rear and it's sort of spun it a little bit. It's not actually too bad. He says and runs it into a bloody wall. Missed my breaking point because I was not paying attention. Brakes are good, but at the same time, they could still be better. I 
into the into the wall there. A lot of four wheel drift, not bad. I said it's stable enough craft, but could be stabler. Certainly not the worst piece of machinery I've ever had around this track. Didn't too, uh, too badly there either. Didn't rule much. for the jump cut there. A little bit of lag I think was on the recording, so. But anyways, this is nearly the first lap completed. It's not a bad time. Excellent line. Once again, as, as with every other car, I have not driven the upgraded version until uh, this race um, uh, makes fair on all the cars. So I don't know how they handle, and that's why I keep caulking it up. There's a lot of lag during this episode today. So yeah, sorry for that other jump cut, but no. As I said, like uh, this is a car that I just haven't really, I haven't driven before the recording. Uh, just like the rest of them, and that's why I tend to cock things up. Holy fuck! Flying down the California straight and um, break just as we hit that jump. There we go. I keep. I, I was told I do that chicane wrong. I mentioned that. Uh, I mentioned that on other episodes, but. Here we are, up the finish, across the line. That was not quicker. So it's a 216.971. That's per usual, I now need to go and calculate that. So, the uh, improvement of that was 33.033 seconds, which is not bad. That's sort of mid-range for uh, for the cars around the track. Sort of typical for an A-class up to an S2 class, which isn't bad. But we will be back next week where we buy another car, test it, upgrade it, see how it does. Goodbye. <laughs>